going and I have to adjust this so that you're actually in shot. Yeah, and we gotta make sure these guys, we can see their heads because they're taller than me. Yep, well you are on. I am. Hi everybody, I'm wearing a glove today because I actually have a cut on my hand um, and I'm gonna be working with jalapenos. So I don't wanna get the juice in my cut. So as I always say, this is a real house. This is my real kitchen. I have real dogs. They may or may not bark at any given time, especially since we're expecting deliveries. Because you know, it's that time of year. It's gift miss. So we are waiting on packages to be delivered. So if the dogs bark, I apologize in advance. But I do want to introduce you to my two guests today. Uh, bring your beers. I mean, you know, we're supposed to be, we're, this is your thing, man. Awesome. Okay. So this is Stu. And this is Derek. Hello. These guys are the Beer Freaks, and they do a podcast called Beer, Beer Freaks. Beer Freaks. And John and I were their guests, and we're waiting for you to post it, and as soon as you do, I'll yes. share it out. But we were their guests last week, and we talk, they like to talk about beer and fear. And so if you know me at all, you know what my fear is, and I relayed the story of why I am terrified. Oh, which, by the way, I got a present. Oh, <laughs> I'll kick your ass in the street. Oh, so um, just so you know, my audience is um, used to foul language, so don't okay. worry about. Um, well, I'll try to yeah, say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it is a primarily adult audience. There are a few teenagers that watch, but nice to fucking meet you. Yeah. Nice to fucking meet you. So what we're gonna do today, because you know when you're dealing with guys who have a beer podcast. You want to make sure that you are doing something with beer. And everybody knows how to do beer very raised brats and that kind of thing. So, like, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something that's a little bit more comforting, uh, especially for you people on the East Coast. My God, all of my New York, New Hampshire, Vermont people, my thoughts and prayers are with you because Jesus H. Christ on a cracker. 44 <laughs> inches. <laughs> And mine aren't, because I was smart enough to move the <laughs> fuck out of there. Yep. So Vegas is a balmy city. Yeah, it's yeah. That's it. Right. here. We had to address it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I love Derek's onesie. I, you won't be able, you can't only see him from the waist up, but it is I a full length like, onesie. Oh, awesome. No, we no. love that. Yeah. <laughs> we love why, that. Why would you not be in a onesie? So. <laughs> So when you're dealing with guys who have a podcast called Beer Freaks, we wanted to do something with beer. So we're doing something a little bit more comforting, the perfect for the winter. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. It's super easy. So just like all the other demos that I've showed you, it's not hard. It's just probably something you're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to it. And I'm going to have you on this side. Do the easy things. Yes. <laughs> and you are going to be over here. And we're going to try, because I've got extra hands today, we're going to move a little bit faster than normal, and I'm going to try not to do that, um, because people tell me that I move too fast to begin with. <laughs> so um, we're going to try and keep it slow and steady for everybody. So the first thing we're going to do is going to work with our bacon. Now, I told you to get thick start. cut bacon from, I made it myself. That's Thank you very that much. That is a good place to yeah. start. It looks fantastic. So I cure and smoke my own bacon. Wow. And, I, you know, I get a pork belly and I do it. Um, so this is like my real, very own house cured bacon. And I told you to go to the deli and get the thick cut bacon because we're going to make lardon, which is French for sticks, basically. And we are going to use the fat as part of the base of the soup. And we are going to use the bacon as a topping. Now, my husband, the darling that he is, also said, you know, nothing goes better with beer and cheese than pretzels. So we're also going to have some crushed pretzels as topping on our pizza, on our pizza, on our soup. <laughs> my husband pizza. pizza too. <laughs> oh my God. But, um, you had me. I didn't me. tell you to have these, but you could use whatever kind of crackers you like that's crunchy and delicious. So when you got, you got your bacon, stack all the pieces up. And when you hold a knife, we were talking about this earlier. Yep. Okay. You want to wrap your fingers here yep. and you want to grab here. Yep. So mm. that you have total control of the knife, mm. right? All right? And we're going to just cut this into little sticks. You just make it look so easy. Yeah, that looks way easier than what I do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm hacking away at it. That's so nice. this blade is curved mm -hmm. to, to give you a rocking That's motion. Hard, yeah. So you shouldn't have to do this. You should just be able to. That's awesome. Okay. Now, keep, notice my hand that's not holding the knife 
has my fingers curled away, mm -hmm. my thumb is tucked in. So that in. way it slides down, right? It slides mm -hmm. so you don't cut. Correct, so you don't cut your fingers. <laughs> don't ask me how I got the cut on my hand because I don't know. <laughs> now this is way more bacon than I think we're going to need, but... You never have enough bacon. Right? You never have too much bacon. And, and... You guys got it, you guys got it. Um, and we're gonna um, save some for another purpose. Beautiful. But we want the fat. So I'm using a nice, big, thick, uh, heavy bottomed stock pot. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do this in stainless. Uh, this one happens to be enamel cast iron. I would not recommend doing it in anything lightly because when you're working with cream and you're working with cheese, you want something that's not gonna flash heat. Mm. You want something that's gonna be nice, slow, gentle heat. Okay. Same thing with the bacon because we don't wanna scorch it. but we do want to get a nice browning on it. So, Beautiful. isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Okay, so, slotted spoon because we're going to pull it out later. Stupid. You, you got yeah, to be sure. Sure. <laughs> So, just keep an eye on it and stir it around. Just keep it moving? You don't have to keep it moving, just keep an eye on it. Okay. When you see it start to break do down, move it. Give it a stir. Because we want it, it, yeah. Because we want it to be nice and brown and crispy, but we don't want it scorched to black. Okay. Got it. Okay. I so, think I can handle this. You got it. I feel you good. Can do this. You I can feel do comfortable. This. You can do this. All right. You got enough beer in you to handle that? <laughs> <laughs> we have. We have more. We have plenty. We of have more. I know a guy. <laughs> so for those of you that are interested, we are drinking John's brand new hazy IPA today. No it's yeah. no to brows, even juicier. Yeah. It's very oh, here, juicy. So here comes time for my husband's commercial. He always oh. likes to come in and do his little commercial. No to brows. Even juicier. <laughs> Even Cheers, juicier. Yeah. Cheers, Jeff. Yeah. Amazing beer. Yeah. This is fantastic. It's delicious, it's right? It's so good. Well, he makes all the hoppy beers for me because I'm a hop head. Very much like Steve. Yes. See, yes. And normally I'm not. And this, this is nice. It's juicy. I can drink it. Yes. It's, and you would like cringe at the amount of hops that are in this beer. Oh my God. Now, Derek's wife, Ashley, is also sitting behind the camera with my husband, mm -hmm. and she's enjoying John's Blueberry Porter. Oh, here we yeah, go. Bring it on in so you can see the difference Show in the colors. So Show I have the darker look at, look at how pretty the colors are. Totally different. Totally different so styles. Colorful. So beautiful. Okay. So now we are gonna, oh, and by the way, we are putting real beer in here, but we're not using John's beer this one. We're using Ooh. locally brewed seven five. Wow. Okay, so I I'm hope breaker. I hope that my favorite turn the label, I'm keep the label to, out there. My favorite Golden Knight number seventy five, Ryan Reed. Yeah, Reebo. So I'm looking at you, Ryan Reed. You should be here in my kitchen cooking too, mm -hmm. anytime, any day. Absolutely. You want to come cook? Come get some beer with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they would love to have you. He does the water safe commercials. Clearly, he's a fun guy. You know? That's right. I'm going to yeah. tell you, Come on. I've well, been watering every fucking And he's a brewer. Day, and he still isn't doing the <laughs> fire check. Oh, man. God. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It's only matter of time. Speaking of man, how oh, does this go bad? So yeah, so and good. a little bit of sticking to the bottom of the spine. Okay. It's called okay. Bond. That's fine. And it's going to get blended into our super creamy nose. Okay, so don't feel like I need to just always be scraping. No, no, no. But I'm going to turn it down just a hair. Okay. Because we don't want it We're getting to... a little pump. Just a little yeah, pump. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to scorch it. And bacon goes from crisp to burnt in about, oh, 30 seconds. Okay. I feel good, I feel You're confident. Great. You're doing great. I'm going to need another beer soon. I'm getting stressed. Don't worry. Right. We'll hook you up. Okay. So we're going to use a jalapeno that was grown in my backyard. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Farm to table. Farm to table. table. We're so be working with everything. Shop. We're trying to be as locally Local sourced possible. as possible. Yeah. So, um, all right. So I'm going to teach you a trick about yeah. working with cuts. Yeah, please. This is a melon baller. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you're working with peppers, whether it is a red bell pepper or green bell pepper, it doesn't matter. When you work with a pepper. Yeah. This white part that's in here mm -hmm. is pith, just like in an orange. Mm -hmm. And it's bitter when you cook it. Okay. So I like to take a melon baller, 
and get it out. That's a smart way to do the melon butter instead of just like a spoon or Well, you know, it's a little bit easier. a chef would tell you that that's a unitasker and to use a real knife, and I say fuck that. Yeah. This works so much better for me. Yeah. Okay, so when you get all of your pith out, it's gonna look like, you know, it's gonna be nice. It's not gonna have that white part in there. And since we are gonna cook it, we wanna make sure that it is out. Just <laughs> trying to stay out of pain. So stay take care of stop. everyone's stop. beer needs. And we're gonna do He's this. He's a real hero today, though. He yes, is. Yes. And so we're gonna do the same thing with the jalapeno because we want a little bit of heat, but we don't want the heat to overpower mm -hmm. everything else. Totally. Yeah. Now, if you like it spicy, definitely leave, take out the seeds, but leave the ribs. Oh. Because the ribs oh. are really what is spicy. I so the, the right. Yes. Okay. No way. Yes. I thought it was the seeds. It's both. It's both. Okay. But the ribs are what's super spicy. Uh. So what we're gonna actually end up doing here is removing a lot of the heat to keep it mild because you can always add your favorite hot sauce. Yeah. And in our house, it happens to be Texas Pete. Uh, because the Sriracha? Well, no. or, or... We like Texas Pete because but, they were the first people to give me a job in culinary. But there is also the locally sourced... Yes, and yeah, my girlfriend, Gemini, um, owns a hot sauce company, and she Ooh. makes her own fermented hot sauces, small batch, locally produced. They were on my gift guide this year. That's right, they're getting crowded. But for this particular thing, I think that her hot sauce would be wasted. Mm. So I would say just use a traditional hot sauce. I'd skip the sriracha. Because right? okay. it's a little... Um, it's a little sweet. It's a little it's sweet. A little sweet. Yeah. yeah, and so we want a little bit of tang. So yeah. something that is... Um, you know, it's salty and where, vinegary. Is where can you get French. hot sauce? French red. Are you uh, able to get it anywhere? It, can you order what? Gemini's Arco yeah. Saucier. You can only order it online at this time. But it's okay. arcosaucier.com. Okay, cool. I love good hot sauce. And she oh, makes some really oh. interesting uh, small batch flavors. Like and Thai. fermented. Yeah. She like does all sorts of cool whales. stuff. They're mm. like really fun. How's it looking? It's looking good, it I think. It looks really good. Yeah, you're doing great. I'm, I'm just perfect. keeping her moving. Good job, Sue. Yep. Okay. Yep. You. I got the beer. I feel good. Shut okay. Okay. So I happen to like a very fine dice. Okay. Which is why I cut that into strips. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Um, you, If you like it chunkier, you can totally do that. Um, but I really like a nice fine dice because I like the texture of it when it cooks down. And it's going to be nice and smooth and mm. soup. Yep. So when we were on your podcast, when we recorded your podcast, we were there for like four fucking hours. There's a long time. <laughs> because yep. I'm a talker. Hello. <laughs> and he's a no talker. No. And these two are talkers. I so am not. You are too. I am I can honestly say I am the quietest member of my family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's not true. So one of the things that I had to warn these guys, you know, when I invited them to come on, is unlike their show where they record a lot of material and then edit it down, I said, yeah, this is one camera, one take, no edits. I love it though. That's cool. No I mistakes. Love that. Don't don't fuck up. Up. No, there's plenty of mistakes. Yeah, you just fix it in post. Fucking roll. No, I've love made it. mistakes. Yeah. I've totally made them and I go, Shit happens. Yep. It happens. And, and yep. it this happens real for real in the kitchen. Yep. Not everything is going to be perfect every single time. Yep. So when you're watching a cooking demo you online. You want to see it all. You don't want to see all the warts and all. Yeah, when yeah, you see a right. demo on TV, that shit has been edited within an inch oh, of its sure. life. It's been done six times. They took the best part of each yeah. filming. Um, and I've watched them actually create, you know, cooking demos. And I'm telling you, it, seriously, it's an all fucking day event for get a half an hour show. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So this is no, you know, for those of you who this is your very first time, it's one camera, one shot, no edits. It's just the way it is. If okay. you're out of focus, it's my fault. Yeah. But okay, I'm out of focus. Yeah. We'll blame the camera guy. Yep. You know. Okay. Hey, someone's so, got to get thrown under the bus. So Stu, as that mind. bacon starts to get crispy. Okay. Use your little slotted good, spoon right? there. Looking good. And I want you to just put it on top of these paper towels into the silver. Okay. Do you, does it look good? Is this about what you want? A little bit more. Little I would more? like it okay. a little bit crispier okay. just because mm -hmm. I'm a crispy bacon girl. 
Are you going on medium, medium high? Yeah, actually, this medium is. Probably I would say it's medium, medium low. low. Medium low. Yeah, because yeah, like I said, it started out high, and the cast iron takes a while to get hot. But then once it's hot, you can turn that heat down and cool. maintain it. Yeah. Because, like I said, bacon goes from crisp to scorched in 30 yeah. seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like an avocado. Same thing like, with oh, two yeah. hours. Yeah. Two hours to yeah. get it right, open. You know? Oh, I know. Well, by the time you get it home from the store. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so oh, this is the perfect foods. avocado. You get home and it's like, oh, this is crap. Yeah. Dude, yeah. what I've been doing is you buy for the day, right? If I know I'm going to have avocado that day, yeah. I get one super soft. And then I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to have one I need a little harder. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like, yeah. Well, you try, but you try. Uh, you try. You try. Okay. But, it you know, it work. the best laid plans of mice and men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avocados remind us the fallacy of man. That's yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. That's right. So are you guys familiar with shallots oh i've okay. had them okay. yes okay. all right so a shallot for those of you that it's might like be onion, working, right? it onion. is okay. it's a member of the same family as onion and garlic and it is somewhere in my estimation in flavor between onion and garlic okay um that sounds fantastic yeah it's got a great oh, smell yeah. to it. It doesn't oh, smell as doesn't pungent really as an onion. Right. Or, well, sometimes you do. Okay. Sometimes these bad boys are harsh. Yeah. But this one happens to be pretty mild. And uh, the skin I think is... the bacon's looking good, by the way. I think I the think bacon you, is looking you think, beautiful. You think we're good? Or do you want it a little more? No, I think that's great. I think it's yeah, That's great. great. You start okay. pulling it out. So you want a shallot when you don't want the intensity of an onion, right? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, you can okay. use a shallot in place of onion in a lot of recipes. Not yeah. in all recipes. Like, you wouldn't want to make onion soup completely out of shallots. Yeah. But you could throw a shallot into okay. an onion soup. Okay. Um, and especially if you notice while you're getting into your onions that your onions are really strong. Yeah. yeah. So it can mm -hmm. kind of offset. But the problem with a shallot is that they're a bitch to peel. <laughs> I mean, seriously. When you misbehave in, the, in a professional kitchen, they make you do this. <laughs> What's up? They there's make like, you peel shallots. There's like little baby bell onion sort of things. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like little balls. <laughs> even smaller than Chipolinis that. Chipolinis or pearls? Pearls. Yeah. Uh, peeling those was the Forget worst it. experience of my life. Why? Like, Buy them fucking in a can. That, <laughs> Jesus Christ. did a cooking class with my work team. And, oh, sorry, I dropped a little no, bacon on there. Um, and we had to peel... Like 20 of the pearl onions. It was awful. What were you making? We made were you uh, making a martinis soup. And so, oh. now, 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 look at look at what she's doing with the... Okay, so I like to take my onion product, whether it's a red onion, a white onion, a shallot, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I put my hand like this, yeah. and I cut crosswise this way. Okay. And then, I go this way. And you leave a little at the end so it doesn't pull yes. out. Yes! Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. You always leave this, the root and, end intact. And it's it's always been said that cutting the root end is what releases all the right. You so know, as what you makes get what what makes you it, cry? The, you, it's more you see how it's now it's becoming you guys can smell it can't you? Yeah, it's becoming more pungent. Mm. Smells good. Though. Oh man, that looks great. Good job. Should, I, should I keep the burner on, or are we? Yes, because okay. we're gonna add this shit right oh, in here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You deserve a beer after that, Stu. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I think I might take you up on that. So we are going to right into our bacon grease. That timing was perfect. It was you perfect. Good job, good job, dude. Okay. Wow. So we are going to put in our veg. Oh, that smells good. I love it. You are cool. coming over. All right. I'm switching it up. Okay, switch so up. I have to rinse my hands because. This is a trick about cooking with onion product. If you get the stuff on your hands, rinse them in a cold water. Now, you want me to oh, constantly yeah. stir, right? I do. I okay. want that nice. Translucent. So what we're, yes, we want our. Mm. He does have good skills, Ashley. Nice <laughs> job. Yes. Okay. Nice. So, what we're going to do here is we want to soften our peppers. We want to make sure that our onion product, whether you're using an onion or a shell, gets translucent. So what this is called is sweating. sweating. We're sweating. So you want to be on a low temp. Sweaty onion. Sweaty onion. Sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Sweaty chocolate. You guys have seen that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I love Dusty Muffin, too. I don't think I've seen Dusty Muffin. That's Betty White. Oh, Betty White. Love Betty White. Yeah. She's a national treasure. 
The day she passes, it's going to be I saw, a I saw, national holiday. I saw, I saw a, uh, a beam of, of, you know, well, you know, the, the wasteland uh, after, uh, uh, you know, the post-apocalyptic, yeah. you know. And it's like the lone figure of Keith Richards wandering along. <laughs> and he sees a shadow up ahead. And as he approaches, it's Betty White. <laughs> I love Betty White. So, yeah, you should look at that. She She did. It's insane. She's older than sliced bread. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Yes. When was she born? Before sliced bread. I don't know. I think it was 1921. Yeah, I think yeah. she this year or next year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I think she's I a centenarian. Right. Ah. She'll be a centenarian. That's correct. Okay. Google it. So, you yeah, go. you could Google it really quick, Ashley. All right, so this is my unitasker. Okay. What can, really I, what can I do? Nothing or right am I just, now. Don't am I just worry. Drinking you, beer now? You're just drinking beer you know, right now? Because too? he was he was drinking beer while you were stirring. So okay. Okay. So, okay, so, so straight up. Good. Yeah. yeah you're All right. She was born in 1922. 1922. So wow. she will be 99 in on January 17th. That's unbelievable. Oh, right after yes. Mother's Day. Is she Capricorn? Or not? She is. <gasps> Betty White. Capricorn. Yes. Oh, yeah. On January 8th. Oh, okay. January 3rd. Me, Elvis. David, David Bowie, Bowie. Nice. Robbie Krieger Robbie from The Krieger Doors. From the Doors. It's a and good smart, rock and roll birthday. And the smartest man on the planet. Your husband. No. You oh, <laughs> won't no, Who's the smartest man on the planet? Well, he's not on the planet anymore. He has since passed. Uh, Einstein? No. no. Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I had not only a good rock and roll birthday, I got a smart Jesus, I got no gifts. It doesn't mean that I am, but... I got... I got... <laughs> no slash. I got <laughs> Bing Crosby and oh, Rock the Dwayne Johnson. Oh, nice. <laughs> rock the Dwayne. That's what he is. Right? Rock so, the Dwayne. That's, that's looking, looking really good. good. Who would have okay. thought he'd be the so, biggest movie star? Right, who knew? Right. So, when you remember, I've told you this before, I'm going to tell you again. When you have to add onion and garlic both to a recipe... Always start with your onion because it cooks slower. Mm. If you put the garlic in with the onion, your garlic will end up scorched by the time your onion is softened up. So watch your hands. And that will make it more sour. So we are going to scrape in our garlic. It's a unitasker. It's only good for one fucking thing, and I love it. And it takes so much goddamn space. No, it's dirty. It's going to melt. Oh, it's going to melt. It's going to melt. Cool. Okay. So now we gotta grate our cheese. I, I I feel like I'm standing in the right spot. I got to deal with the bacon, and now I get to deal with the okay, cheese. Okay, so we're gonna actually <laughs> move this over here. I like to use That's why a Derek's mat. Derek's got the freaking onions. Because um, and the I cut onion and garlic on here, and I don't want my cheese to end up tasting like onion and garlic. So we've got cheddar. Cheddar. We have Gruyere. That's what cheddar means. Nice. <laughs> and Monterey Jack. And I'm such a moron. I accidentally brought. Mozzarella twice instead of mozzarella margarita. So I had to run out like right before you guys got here to the sprouts and get myself some. Oh, she loves the snow. Yeah, it's okay. Next time. Okay, so I'm using a microplane grater. I've said this before, I'll say it over and over again. To me, they are the best graters mm. because the blade is stainless, it doesn't rust, it stays mm -hmm. sharp, it's made in the US. Yeah. You could throw it in the dishwasher. And what we're looking for here, and I'm going to pass this to you, okay. is there's cannoli. Being the alarm system, <laughs> um, we being like being nice big shreds like that. Yeah, now good. it's great, awesome. right? Yeah, and it's super easy. Well, it's so a we're greater. Gonna, it ought to I'm be. gonna show you about that much more. Okay, about half. Mm -hmm. About half the rest. Yeah, okay. and I'll start unwrapping these. Oh, look so that. how's our veg looking? It's looking pretty good. What do you think of the Ooh. garlic? I think it needs it smells a little bit. Really That's nice. Awesome. I'll check with you. Oh, it smells fantastic. Good. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna get our beer ready. Our seven five Ryan Reeves. Revo. And brewed by Abel, Abel Baker. Baker. Abel yes. Baker. Which is all, you know, we do love Abel Baker. So for those of you that don't know, I collect rubber ducks. <laughs> That's you saw the bathroom, well, right? Yeah, and Abel Baker's <laughs> got their awesome ducks. Yeah, I get them wherever we travel. I love rubber ducks. So That's pretty when <clears throat> this is the Monterey Jack. So when we um, went to to Abel Baker for the first time to do their, their um, uh, tasting a flight, they give you a duck, and I was like, shut up! I was so excited. Perfect. And That's they give you these cute awesome. little ones. So my very first flight. 
I got this adorable unicorn duck. Oh, nice. Super excited, right? Yeah. So the second time I went in, I have a second flight. Um, I said to the guy, I'm so excited about my duck. Da -da -da -da, I collect them. And I have a whole collection of rubber ducks in the bathroom. And he says, oh, I'm going to get you one that I know you don't have. What does he bring <laughs> me out? The unicorn. Dude, there's like one in each box. How's it look? It looks great. Okay, uh, so now we're going to add our beer in mm -hmm. very slowly. And while I'm doing this, I want you to scrape, scrape, scrape. Gotcha. Because we want to get all of that gorgeous stuff up off the bottom. Get the oh, fun. That is the fun. So what's going to happen here is when we add this in, and we don't want to add it all at once because we're just trying to get that fond up. We're gonna let it evaporate, and then we're gonna make our brew. We're gonna get fond up today. We we're are. Fond up. How much of this cheese do you want me to grate? A little bit more. A little more. On it. And then I want you to grate. Because it will be all of that. One. Very cheesy. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Bacon mm -hmm. cheese. You can. Holy cow. And beer. Yeah. Okay, that looks really good. See how it all came up off the bottom? Yeah, if I had other mitts, I'd show you. So when you add, when you've got those little beautiful brown bits on the bottom of the pan, it's called fond. Don't freak out. When you add your liquid and scrape, it's called deglazing the pan. Okay. And it's going to add a level of flavor to your flavor ladder. So here on our flavor ladder, we've got our shallots, our peppers, our garlic. We've got our bacon in there, right? Mm -hmm. So our bacon was our base rum. Mm -hmm. And now we added the beer in. It's going to add intensity and it's deglazing the pan. So now we're gonna work on creating our roux. Because when you work with cheese, you have to have roux because otherwise you just get a disgusting, greasy, gloppy mess. What is roux? I'm mm -hmm. gonna show you. All right. Okay, so roux. Let me just let it. Yep, yeah, just it. let it. So what did you just add in, Leanne? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. So roux is a combination of fat and flour. So in this case, we used a half a stick of unsalted butter. Okay. You could stir it around so it gets melted. Perfect. Oop. Yeah, watch your fingers too. I know. I'm getting down to the, the you're getting, you're getting down to the thing <laughs> up. And if it gets down to the point where you think, oh, I'm just gonna eat that, go right. Okay. I can, <laughs> I can definitely do that. Because that's what I do. Can we be on your show every week? <laughs> you can be on as many times as you want. As many times as you want. There may be some more challenging things to do, though. My skill level will... Each step. Yeah, that's right. Fine. All right, so we're just going to pop this in the sink. Does it? Mm. Great. How's the butter looking? Almost down there. Almost okay. done. Almost done. So um, we're going to be adding... Now, I'm doing this um, non-vegetarian, obviously. If you were doing it vegetarian, you should have been um, sauteing your vegetables in... Um, olive oil or whatever kind of fat you wanted and then add in your butter to make your roux. That looks great. Okay, so now we're going to add a quarter of a cup of flour because whenever you make a roux, it's even. Okay. Even fat it's even to flour. flour. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to make you switch. Yep. Gotcha. So what the idea here is you want to incorporate your flour into your fat. And when it stops smelling like flour, you're ready. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, so get your face down in it. Derek, put your nose in it. What's it smell like? It still smells like flour. Put your nose in it so you know. All right. All right. What's it smell like? I'm not really getting any flour anymore. But I don't now know. Now it's starting to go away. Okay, mm -hmm. so you see how it's getting thick? Yeah. yeah. All right. Beer. Pour it in. There you go, buddy. <laughs> the most important job of the yes. entire day. All, the whole thing? All of it. All of it. Love it. Ooh. Ooh look, job, at look at that. Look at it dance. I love it. Look at it dancing. Now, it is going to foam up a little bit, and it's fine. It, you know, it's as it cooks down, it's going to stop foaming, and it'll be perfectly fine and safe, and then you won't freak out and have a heart attack. But look at all this gorgeous cheese. Now, I know you're looking at that and you're thinking, that's an awful lot of goddamn cheese, Leanne. Yes. Yes, it yeah. is. But we are making an entire batch of soup that is nothing but cheese and liquid. So you need a lot of cheese. Because otherwise, it's just going to be this thin, disgusting, who wants to eat that soup? <laughs> it's going to be beer with 
cheese and crack. Right. Like so when you're yeah. looking at that, mm -hmm. you see how it's starting yeah, to look creamy? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the foam's going away. The foam is going away. Oh, it's wow. beautiful. Yeah. Whoa. Beautiful. Right, yeah. and it looks like cream. It looks, it you does. know, and that's your root. So you, you can, can you could come over. So just, you know what? Let it sit for a minute. Okay. That looks so good. That smells yeah. great. It smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Delicious. I, mm. now me personally, at this point, I would add a little bit of salt. Okay. However, bacon is salty. Cheese is salty. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna wait okay. and we're gonna let people add it to taste. But I do want to add a little bit of white pepper. Okay. Ooh, now I'm choosing pepper. white over black because I like the floral component mm -hmm. of white pepper in this particular recipe. Okay. So we're just gonna put a few grinds of uh, fresh white pepper in there. And now we're gonna add in some chicken stock. Now, if you're doing this vegetarian, you should be using your veg stock, obviously. Now, you can smell the difference between that and black pepper. Totally. It's got, totally. it tastes, smells yeah. like flowers. Yes. And we like him too. Very floral. We, we, we like Flurry too. <laughs> Flurry. <laughs> Hated seeing him not start those games. Ah, no. uh, don't <clears> even know, get me know, started. Look. Don't even get me started. It was a rough one. I'm just going to say that. But he took it like a champ and like a true team player and didn't, he wasn't a whiny bitch yeah. about it. Now his agent, on the other hand. Was a whiny bitch yeah. about it. <laughs> well, you know what? If That's you don't style. start your That's star yeah. and you win, yeah. Eh. yeah. if you don't start your star and you lose, eh. That's, okay. the problem. That's on you. Yep. That's a technical foul. Sorry. I went, I went to a little warm in the kitchen. I'm taking the vest off. Yeah. Well, off my, oh, I there you go. Me. There you go. I am prepared. Look at you, Stu. You know what? I wore my. Um, Being my, arrogant and everything. Uh, you my know stone it. mask. I, mean, you it I, I haven't found it since. Wait, is it at the house? I don't know. It's in the freaking car. I saw it in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who's what that? Is it? Not mine. My stone mask. I can't find it. Oh. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in oh, her car. I'm like, I'll check the house. No, <laughs> don't bother. She has to look for it first. Here. <laughs> I'll give you that, John. You know, shit's always missing no, okay. because, ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know where room. I put it. We're in the kitchen. There's lots of <laughs> pencils in here. I can shake this because cream when it sits, oh, yeah. the stuff rises up. Mm. And it was all <laughs> thick on the top. The cream rises to the top. You know, it's the yeah, best looks right. For you know, it's already. I just want to drink that. It would be Nuts. tasteless. Yeah. I, I'm seriously going to go home and I'm going to make this. Dude. It's really easy. And so you saw um, the demo, you saw the uh, online instructions. Mm -hmm. So every time I do a demo, I give you a ingredient list and an equipment list. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks very yeah. simple for a novice like me. Yeah. See? That's the idea. So I started doing these demos because my sister Nancy, at the very beginning of the pandemic and the lockdown, she's like, Leanne, you should be doing this online and teaching people how to cook because you teach me how to cook on the phone. Yes. yes. And I said, okay, what do you want to do? She goes, I don't know, something delicious. <laughs> Well, so like when you order a drink, right? Whatever you I want. know, yeah. yeah. It sounds, whatever sounds delicious. So we, um, now what we're trying to do right now, we raised the temperature on the pot and we brought it, we're trying to get it up to a simmer mm. and then we're going to add in our cheese a little bit at a time, stirring constantly okay. so it doesn't clump. Gotcha. So I said to Nancy, what do you want to make? She goes, I don't know, something delicious. And so we started out doing brunch. We did croque madame. Oh, uh, yes. You can't be the brunch. Yeah. And then we did some crepes the next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we did them two ways, sweet and savory. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Really easy. Yep. And then we've just kind of had some fun with it. We've done soups. We've done pastas. We did chicken piccata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all available. You can all see them all on mm -hmm. YouTube. They're all there. Dude, that's awesome. That is fantastic. I love yeah. it. So Nancy and I have a good time. Nancy and the ingredients lists are there. Too, and the ingredients in the comments. lists are there as well. Yeah, I set it up so that when you see the video, underneath it is your ingredient and prep list, uh, and equipment list, so that you, if you're gonna cook along with the video, you've got everything you need ahead of time. You know how cool would it be if, like, literally, you could create like a pre-built shopping cart 
in like Whole Foods or it would Amazon. Be great. It that'd would be, be pretty, great. That'd be pretty cool. You, you know? put in a recipe like, and it's just boom. You just click your recipe and then it would be great, but awesome. I only want to do that if you're going to pay me to do it. Oh, oh totally. totally. Yeah, yeah, you get a percentage. But I don't know how to do that. Well, I need an agent. You become an affiliate. That's how it works. I need an agent. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. You just punch into like Amazon can have its own recipe thing. Right. You click you just, it, boom, right into your shopping cart. It's already in order. Cart. Done. You know? My friend Jolene. Oh, we're, we're solving problems. Dude, my friend Jolene problem. said. And you heard it here first. Yeah. That's right. Amazon? <laughs> take our idea. <laughs> Amazon, well, my friend Jolene said, you should set up an Instacart. And I'm like, okay, but I don't know how to do that. But well, like, if you could get like a percentage of every sale that came through your yeah. recipe clicks, that'd be brilliant, right? Slight, you want absolutely. Okay. You want so to kind of okay. rolling okay. a little bit. See how it's starting to oh, bubble. A little, yeah. a little simmer. Yep. A little. Okay. So what's going on here is our roux. Mm -hmm. See how it's getting foamy? Yeah. That's not the beer. That's the flour cooking out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's starting to look thick and delicious, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Like I said, I drink this. Right. Not yet. I mean, it looks, Not yet. <laughs> it looks so good. You burn your mouth a little bit. Yeah, a lot. You know. So we're going to start with the Gruyere. Okay. And we're going to swap. Yep. Stu's going to swap. Stu, you're up. Stu's okay. Grab that. This yeah. bad boy. Don't mess it up. Oh, I won't. It's cheese. I can't, you know. Stir, stir, stir. All right, here we go. See, this is this is where you're in your pace, too. Okay. Okay. This is the make or break moment. That's yeah. right. Okay. That's I'm right. nervous again. Don't be nervous. <laughs> so the, the key about doing this is you do it a little bit at a time, and you wait for each addition to stop looking like shreds of cheese. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 And you just do it a handful so at a time. You just gotta be patient. Yes. You can't do this. Oh, I can be There's patient. no rushing. I like it. Great. All right. So one of the things that my friend Robette, who watches our demos, mm -hmm. she goes. I always rush. I always expect everything to be so fast. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, right, Slow right. down. Just I like that. take it the easy. Because that's the that's right? the key like, of home cooking oh, is like low and slow. Stress when low and slow. Through, you know? yeah. Now there are certain things that you can do fast. An omelet, you can do fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, a burger, if you want it red, sure. you could do yeah. that really fast. When you're doing things like Why this, wouldn't you want a burger rare? I don't know. If you want it any burger. other way, you're... Go to McDonald's. Yeah. Um, you guys put A1 on your stick? Oh, yeah, right? Actually, we don't. Okay. I will put it on a burger. Ooh, A1, I've never tried that. Yeah, A1 on a burger. I will put it on a burger. Uh, what Salt, I like pepper, steak, maybe garlic. We, we, we put steak. butter on our steak. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll put blue cheese on our steak. I like doing Snickers. Have you ever done Snickers a in a burger? What? Oh, you know, dude. I hate Snickers. What's happening right now? Check it out. Real quick. Snickers and a burger, right, inside. Then you put a really, instead of like a, a diced tomato, you do a, a, a sliced green apple, right? You put this like spicy, sense. spicy aioli on top. Oh, oh so, you get, so you get the savory, yeah. sweet, dude, yeah? So that makes sense. If you like peanuts. Which exactly, yeah. Like. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so you and mine. Yeah. <laughs> you could sub a different candy bar, though, instead oh, of a Snickers. I don't know. Just like some M&M's, maybe? A Milky Way. Milky there you go. Way See, my, my, my buddy Steve and I, back in college, we invented something called the Mallow Burger, oh, which was that? burgers with mar melted marshmallows. Oh, obviously, that was yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, like, I see all these peanut butter and jelly pizzas out there nowadays and peanut butter and jelly burgers. I'm not that adventurous. You I don't want no. sweet with my savory. And next time, you're going to I do. Burger. I, I kind of do like sweet and savory, like kettle yeah. corn. I, yeah. I like that. But I don't like sweet food. Like, you're not going to see me eating sweet and sour chicken. Yeah. Or any of that shit. Yeah. I'm not into that. Yeah. yeah. See, I like teriyaki. I do not like that. It's too sweet. But so that's like the one place I would say I'd go sweet and savory. Yeah. yeah. Most so, or sweet this, sweet and sour hey, pork. I wish you guys you know. could see this because yeah. it looks yeah. beautiful. We need to get you an overhead cam. Yeah, we totally do. I know a guy. I, I, need, I, know. I need a whole team. Yeah, we got it. Let's do it. But part Let's of amp the, it up. But like I said, part of the charm of this is one camera, it's very one true. take. That is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I could move in for the shot, but that would mean I'd have to get up. <laughs> yeah, we. Don't worry. 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 Don't the soupy goodness. That's amazing. Beauty. Oh, oh baby. Good yeah. Job, that is so good. Okay. Thanks, stir, buddy. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling like a pro right now. So do you see how it started to bubble? Yep. Yeah. If your soup starts to bubble with all that cheese in there, you want to turn it okay. down. Because we're going to add the cream. Okay. And if you add that cream into a boiling soup, you know what oh, you're yeah. going to get? Fucking cottage cheese. 
Ooh. Oh, jeez. We don't want that. Yeah, it's going to be Big piece of great equipment. Oh, yeah. It's coming. <laughs> Boom. Mixed. I don't know. Oh, it's still there. I don't know. It's not bubbling anymore. That's, That's right. We don't have so, any cottage cheese. No, so lowering the temperature and the, the cream itself is cool. So remember, every time you're adding mm -hmm. something to the pot, yeah. you're cooling it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think you need a live studio audience here, too. That looks fantastic. Well, we have a live studio audience. Uh, that's right. Me and Ashley. We do. We're that's, back we here. here. And the dogs. It's almost as thick as I want it. See that? Yeah. So do you need more, like, to thicken it up, would you add more cream, or what would no. you do? No. Time. Oh, you let it go. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. As, oh, as we oh, say oh, in oh, medicine, oh, a oh, tincture oh, of time. Tincture of time. Oh, tincture of time. Sounds like a movie. But you guys, like, seriously, this is so fucking good. I can't wait for your trial. Oh, I'm excited. Taking sure time. You're gonna need a. Uh, oh, you got the fantastic. extra bowl. Okay. That I can smell like yeah, this one's mine. Coming through. Okay. A little bit of this spice. So now, if you're gonna make this at home, you can sub out your Monterey Jack for Pepper Jack, if you like it a little spicier. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can skip the Gruyere and add more cheddar. Well, why would yeah. you skip the yeah, yeah. Because you skip can it. make, but you can make it all white mm. instead of using like if you wanted to do like a white cheddar, you could do white cheddar, Gruyere, yeah. and um, and Jack cheese, yeah. and it would look like a white instead of a yellow version. We love all ethnicities. Mm -hmm. I do too. <laughs> if, you're, if you're going what? for like, like oh. sometimes we do themed dinners, yeah. And if I needed it to be, yeah, you know, a different color. When, uh, we got a question. When did the chicken stock get added? The chicken stock was added after the beer. So you're gonna do your roux, you're gonna do your flat your butter and your and your flour. You're gonna cook that down, add the beer, wait for it to stop foaming, add your chicken stock, let it thicken up, and then start adding your cheese a handful at a time. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Dr. DiCarlo, by the way. Hey! Wow! Miss you guys! <laughs> His old boss's wife. Well, oh, okay. Ah. His, I shouldn't say old. You might yell at me. Yeah. His former boss's wife. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and she, they're both doctors. Right. Cheryl, Cheryl and Pat. Uh, Pat is a laser specialist. Nice. Um, like well, if you look physicist. up. Physicist. Physicist, sorry. Wow. If you look up laser, like online, his picture's there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of a fucking badass. When it, That's when so easy, and dude. then his wife, Cheryl, Dr. DiCarlo, is a veterinary specialist. Okay. Nice. And she Thank does you. uh research and behavioral medication and she's she's That's amazing. Awesome. Absolutely. That's awesome, amazing. So look how let's see how it looks. No, no. Scrape that down. And let's just let it come to a simmer so it kind of cooks a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna scrape the bottom because awesome. part of our roux is stuck down there. Oh. I can feel it. See I blew it. No, 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 that's what happens. No oh, cottage oh, cheese still? Okay. No. No, we don't know cottage cheese. Beautiful. Juice. Yeah. So it's so pretty. You've got your little flecks of red from the red bell pepper. You've got little flecks of green yeah. from our jalapeno. Oh, so And good. it's this gorgeous pale yellow color. It's beautiful. Now, if you wanted it to be like super yellow, you could do all cheddar. All, all cheddar. Now, I will tell you, here in town, the place where we met you guys mm -hmm. has a great beer cheese soup. Big yeah. dogs. Big dogs. Well, they're a Wisconsin. Yeah. Like, right. Like right. the original. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Their beer cheese soup. <laughs> you know, they, be, they better make a good beer cheese right. soup and curds. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Now, would you ever put this in like a bread bowl or anything? Yes. Because like I would go nuts. Yes. You could put this in a bread bowl. That'd Why be not? It would be so good. I actually thought about making sourdough bread bowls for you guys, and I just. I get overwhelmed, and yeah. so but we're but yeah, we do we're have home. some homemade sourdough. Yeah. So you are going to, to get, go with it. You are going to get homemade sourdough. Oh, oh, oh. that's going to go right See, into they, the oven. These guys knew what I was thinking. They yeah, are already on top of the cheese. I'm like three steps ahead of you. Yeah. At yeah. least always. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. ever forget. <laughs> you know, I'm just See now, quiet, just a yeah. just a plug. By the way, the the pretzels are. Uh, Oots or Uts, uh, however, however they pronounce it, U T Z yeah. pretzels from back east, oh. uh, and they are they they're sourdough out. hards. Mm. So I I order them from Amazon because you can't find so, them 
here. Here you go. Amazon has it. Here are your spoons, and here are your bowls. What I want you to do is take your spoon, okay. dip it in once, no yeah. double dipping. You'll notice I have yeah. two spoons. No, smart. Eh? Take a taste and okay. see what you think. Do Tell it. me if you yeah. think it needs salt. Because I don't think it does. No, I don't think it needs anything. That is incredible. It's really good, right? Fantastic. Ooh. And it's super easy. Like, anybody can there's, do this. There's so much oh. flavor in that thing. That is <laughs> so good. Because we built a ladder. <laughs> so we good. built a ladder. That's awesome. And we haven't even put the bacon in. No, seriously. No, and you're going to top it with bacon that's or tacos. That's nuts. The so bacon, good. you're right. It's not even in there yet. Well, this there's is the remnant of the bacon. Wait, there's bacon flavor yeah. from, the, from, the, from the fat. But what, that's great. What that's was the word for the bacon fat? Fawn. The fawn. No, well, the fawn is the brown that's stuff oh, okay. that's, that's on the bottom. Yeah, any stuff that sticks okay. to the bottom. That's so, just a generic term for yes. Correct. Oh. Yes. So if you're caramelizing onions, or you're cooking a steak, or you're cooking chicken, oh. and you see brown yeah. in the bottom of the bin, not black. Okay. Brown. Yeah. The bottom okay. of the bin. That is fine. Okay. Deglaze with wine, stock, beer, whatever, and that becomes part of your stock. That's part of your flavor ladder. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So yeah. don't wash your dishes. Let the fawn sit there forever. No. <laughs> so much flavor in everything you make. It's like a grill. Well, <laughs> it, 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 it <laughs> might get a little funky after <laughs> a, a while. Funky fawn. Yeah. yeah. You don't want you a funky fawn. No. And no. We no. Are really doing well, great. It would time. it would depend on what kind of funky. Whether it was like really cool James Brown yeah, funky. Or like or Rick James, I got a girl locked in the basement. Funky, not so good, right? No, no. You don't want that kind of funky. No, no. You don't want that funky. Not Rick James with the. You know. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So um, we're doing really great on time. We're actually at forty-seven minutes today. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that's it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally awesome. we spend about an hour. So right now I am open. I'm like whatever questions you guys have, who's watching that I should say hello to. Well, uh, you got the question from, from Cheryl. Cheryl. Uh -huh. We got Nicole Brown, Nancy Mason. Oh, hi, Nancy. Hi, uh, Nicole. Kevin E. Scalari. Hi, Kevin E. Kevin e takes good care of my face. Deb. Nice. Deb. Deb. Deep pop. Yeah. Hey, Deep pop. Uh, we also have uh, the Grand Sets. Hi, guys. And, you should come over and have some soup. <laughs> and Katie and Erica. Oh, and, both of them, my nieces. Yes. Oh, okay, nice. And uh, Hello, nieces. Chris Hello. and Rachel. Hey, guys. That's my Sid from another crib son. Oh, okay, uh, nice. I like so this they, are all, they are all the folks who have commented. Great. So, so does anybody have any questions about what we did today? Recipes that we've oh. done in the past? What we've got coming up next? Oh, and it looks, it looks like Tracy. Bradley? Yeah. Hi, Trace. <laughs> oh, there, yeah, there she goes. She chimed in. There we go. I'm just going to shut it off now and let it sit. Oops. Now, one of the things you should know as this cools, because there is a dairy product in there, you might end up with like a little skin. Oh, Karen Berenger, too. Hi, Karen. Karen's yeah, a hi. real estate agent who sold us this house. Oh, okay. She's a friend that I've known from, through the Air Force. She's an Air Force wife. Nice. Um, oh, she's an Army wife. She's an Army <laughs> wife, but I know her through the Air Force. How do you um, get rid of that? Don't, don't. Just stir it in. Just stir it in. Don't, don't call Roger Air Force. I, that's what I always did. I'm yeah. glad to know that that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Well, just, you know, you just you know, get if, it back in there. If it's just like while it's sitting here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stir it back in. Sure. If it's been in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and it's that. really thick, it you might want to take it off. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I also do that. Use, use, cut. use, use your judgment. Sure. You know, cool. Oh, and you got Lydia, who's a friend of Jeannie, who's tuned in. Oh, Lydia from Texas, Lydia? Yeah. I guess. It just says Hi, Lydia. Lydia. Lydia commented, Lydia, friend of Jeannie. Hi, Lydia. I think I know who you are, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. <laughs> We're all friends here. We're all friends. friends. Here. They're all family. We're all Where's everyone from? Like, are most of these yeah. people Vegas or are they? Oh, all over. Oh, they're all over. All over. Um, cool. My nieces are in Florida. Okay. Dad's Florida, in Texas. Nice. Texas. Uh, Tracy that he mentioned is in uh, town. Uh, Dr. DiCarlo is in Texas. Right. Uh, Nancy Mason is in Texas. Rachel and Chris Rachel are, are in New Texas. Hampshire. Okay. Uh, New Hampshire, you guys doing okay? Yeah, they're doing, doing okay. Uh, we heard. From oh, them. and oh, Nanette's there too. My girlfriend Nanette is also. By in the Texas. way, Nanette, I will be making a video for you uh, this weekend. <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, so Nanette, a couple years ago, gave my husband. A last movie. year. Oh, was it last year? Last year for last Christmas. Last year, gave my husband a great Christmas gift. Yeah. And it's a storybook of Die Hard. 
Oh, it's the perfect Christmas. The perfect story. Christmas right. storybook. Right. Yeah. So it's John a Christmas Martin storybook, and, and he's awesome. going gonna to actually film himself reading it for dinner. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. That so, might become so a sweet. viral video. Well, and we're going we're gonna to post it through and her we'll Good for Spooning. For spooning. So, so okay, since, well, I, since, since, since I don't have, oh, no, yeah, no well, and a smoking jacket. Perfect. He's so, gonna look like um, gonna sit who was it? John Gilgood in John Gilgood and Scrooge. Oh, That's yeah. the plan. That's the plan. Dude, Bookcase behind me. Yeah. We've got we've got it all yeah. laid out for yeah. Nanette. That's so yeah. perfect. Fantastic. So, uh, oh, our oven just beat to you know that the bread's almost ready. Oh boy. Okay, so I am going to this one's mine <laughs> with my my mouth spoon on it. Uh, Lydia wants to know what's the best type of beer for this recipe. I kind of mentioned that earlier. Yeah, we, I um, mentioned it in the shopping list. So what I would suggest is something that's light in color and not too strongly poppy, right. flavored. So, so what a, we used here was a lager. Yep. You could use a Pilsner. Right. Yeah, well, a, or, or, or a, like, like or a kind of, <laughs> right, or, or, pa or a, a pale ale, as yeah. long as it's not too yeah. hoppy. I would use a pale ale. I would also use a red ale, because they have a little bit of sweetness oh, okay. to them, that yeah. and it would kind yeah. of Yeah, or a brown or an amber, if you wanted yeah. a little more yeah. depth to it. I would not it. use a Guinness. I would not okay. use a stout. I would not use a porter, and I certainly would use an IPA because no. that's going to go in my belly. Yes. yes. So, yes. With, you know, I would use Pilsner or Cal for this. Okay. Ooh, I would, I, obviously, I use a lager. I have done it with Sam's. <laughs> oh, by, by the way, uh, Pat Roach says, uh, Stephanie and Cheryl were cooking, and I was hauling in the groceries from Dover Air Force Base. Ah. So. They're in Delaware. They're, they're in, in Delaware now. now. And uh, Pat says that they're using Shiner in theirs. That's a Shiner great choice. That's a great choice. Garden. So for those... Oh, that, oh, like a half? Like a half or a white? Would that you be could. You? But that's I wouldn't though, right? because I don't like that flavor. Gotcha. And that yeast bothers me. Gotcha. But yeah, it would totally work. Yeah, cool. It would yeah. totally work. You could even use a levy. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm so glad you chimed in, Pat. And I miss your face. He's a fellow redhead. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what other questions have you got? I mean, thanks for asking that one, Lydia. That was a really great question because a lot of people aren't that familiar with all the different styles of beer like yeah, these guys and like crazy. we are because we're beer people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you'd like to know where Derek got his onesie, he's yep. more than happy to share that with you as well. I take, I take orders. I make them myself. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make them yourself, but you, you still take orders, right, yep, Ashley? Yep, yep. <laughs> he, he takes orders very well. Yep. Yeah. That's why you're so good in the kitchen. <laughs> you know what? Would oh, be Pete. Good one? If we added jalapenos in this, right? What if you did like the bad beat El Pefe? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. You could totally do that. By the oh, way. And your beer would work great in this. Awesome. If you wanted a little bit spicy. Yeah. By the way, Pete Brosnan. Hey, Pete. He said. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> he says, John, you let her drink while playing with sharp knives. It's a good thing that there's a doctor in the house. <laughs> Sure. Okay, so this sourdough was actually made by me on nice. Wednesdays. We make sourdough. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, Mean Girls. Wear, mean Girls reference. Mean Girls wear pink on Wednesdays. Absolutely. Smart girls bake sourdough. No. <laughs> what kind of? I didn't say I was nice. I said I was smart. Because <laughs> this Mean Girl never wears pink. <laughs> I'll, I'll rock pink all day. I wear black. Yeah. Like myself. Color, like myself. <laughs> Here. So um, this bread knife is the problem. It's not the bread. <laughs> this bread knife is thirty plus years old. It's might be time for the wet snow. No, no, no. I don't know how to do that. It's very complicated for a serrated. Ah, serrated, uh, gotcha. serrated blades. You're better off just, just getting a getting a crappy one, using it, and tossing it. Tossing it. Uh, okay. okay. So what we're gonna do? Gonna break bread. Dip break it in. Bread. Oh boy. Uh, oof. Baby, you want to get in on this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Take this one. Oh, you're going to share with her? Yeah. You want to try it? Uh, I'll, I'll wait. I'm, I'm fielding questions. I am doing my job. It's almost like a fondue at this point. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh. That fondue party. That is so good. The bread is fantastic. 
The soup we already knew was fantastic. <clears throat> I can't speak for him. Hey, can I give you a high five mm -hmm. for that? Because no. that was incredible. Mm -hmm. No. So I'm just one that it's crazy. It's great, right? There's so much flavor. Like it's just amazing. And so you don't have to do a crusty bread with it. You could, you know, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. But I just think that um, this is a great comforting recipe. Oh, poor Yogi. Um, it's a great comforting recipe because, you know, most people do like cheese. Um, and right now we all need a little bit of extra comfort. The holidays aren't looking like what we thought they were going to look like. Um, many people are separated from their families and they're, they're doing the smart thing and staying safe. So we have to find comfort any way we can. Um, and this is one of those ways to do it. I am a big believer in food as well as beverage, mm -hmm. bringing people together. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you guys were able to make the far drive from California. Dude. Okay, so we live in the far <laughs> north part of the valley, so we're in Utah. They're in the far south part of the valley, so they're yep. in California. Yep, yep. No one here yeah, I'm so glad that. that you guys came up. Thank you, Ashley, for making sure they got here safely. Because I know it was all about you. <laughs> <laughs> And thank yeah. you, man. This is amazing. I am so like, glad. Seriously, this is great. Any time you guys want to come and cook, we will cook. I, I, well, I'm, I'm back here every week. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is incredible. You know, we might just ditch our podcast in just yeah, a year. We just do that. Which, so you know what? Fun. And we could totally do that. We'll just do a couple little beer <laughs> segment. We, a yeah. minute. Yeah, Boom. Go. Uh, we're good. We'll talk about beer. <laughs> there you go. We, we'll have, um, so we can invite other beer freaks on. How, how many recipes do you have for foods with beer? Yeah. Because we just need not to do that it. many really. Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, because yeah. a lot of the things, well, a lot of the things that, like I said, that you would normally do with beer, people already know how to do. That's but right. people are intimidated about making a cream soup, so I thought mm, that this was a really yeah. great one to incorporate with the beer and you know teaching my sister something new. Well, so, you know, it doesn't always need to have beer. No, it could just be something that pairs well. Between well, uh, absolutely. Nice things too. 100%. And almost everything does. Yeah. See, my biggest thing with, with stuff like this, like I love seeing it and how it kind of thickened and everything, like sauces are my mm -hmm. my downfall. Like I don't know how to like, sit, I don't know how to, like, mm. that's a tough one. So this was nice to see, like it was. Now you know how to do you it. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loved it. And so we have YouTube time. and you can watch it mm -hmm. anytime that you need a you know tutorial cool. or instruction. Yeah, because I'll be making the crap out of this. It's like <laughs> so good. Oh, and, and, so and it's good. adaptable, oh, and it's adaptable. So you can mm. change up your cheeses, yeah. Yeah. change yep. your spice level. Um, uh, something else you could add in there would be like a teaspoon of dry mustard mm. to oh. change up the flavor a little bit. Uh, yeah. um, you can top it with your favorite hot sauce. You could top it with pretzels or crackers or mm. you know whatever you want to do to add texture and crunch to it. We're going to put bacon on ours and we serve up. Mm -hmm. But you know, and you can play with your beer. I mean, we yeah. chose. Ryan Reeves, seven Reeves. <laughs> Shout out again, Reeves. Yeah, nice. that look. Uh, so we chose a lager for this, uh, but like we were talking about, you could use a Huffy. Mm -hmm. You could use a jalapeno style beer. Yeah. You, I would just stay away from the dark stuff and the strongly flavored stuff. The dark because, side. Yeah, stay, stay on the light side. Don't go to the dark side. Now, let me ask you this. Though. Just, okay. Would, like if you just did all cheddar, right? Or yeah. Like a sharper cheddar. Yeah. Would you try an IPA with it? You can, so you can, or out. you can, or you I could even go. You, you might go a stout with that. You could no, do a order a stout no. with that. I think so. No, I think and so. You'd be wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> because I would go half lager or pilsner and half IPA. Okay, so you yeah, 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 yeah. And then as you try it, I made your beer you soup. Th if <laughs> <laughs> If you think that um, you could handle more hops the next time, do a little bit more hops. Okay, so just pull on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, see, and that's the fun part. Like, I always like to take a recipe. My wife's a little different. If I see a recipe, I do exactly what mm. it says. Sure. Mm. Right off the bat. Yeah, you Because should. then I got my foundation. Right. So now next time mm -hmm. I make it, right. what can I change? Right. And if you well, tweak some... Lock it out right away. Right. Like, ah, But see, if you tweak it, then, so doing it your yeah. way, Derek, if you tweak it... Yeah. After, yeah. you now know exactly what changed. You know what in the flavor you profile that, changed. You that. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the scientific method, right? right. Yeah. That's, that's right. Method. That's right. But I take the Bob Ross approach. Happy little mistakes. Yes. Yes. Happy little trees. That's right. Happy little trees. That's right. Oh, speaking of trees, you could actually believe in this. Whoa. Damn. Now, now we're talking. It's a whole different episode now. But, but, all right, well, that's a, that's a whole different episode on how to cook with weed. Hey, you guys, yeah. I totally forgot to add 
the green stuff. I was supposed to put time. Weed. Put it in right now. Yeah, it's too late. See, speaking of weed. It's too late. What, I know that's what was that though? This is Earth's Vermont, which is thyme, lavender, a bunch Time. of other things. Dude, you're done. Smell it, it smells stone? fantastic. Is there stone fruit in there? No, there's no <laughs> stone fruit in there. You were supposed to put this in with the beer, and I totally forgot. If I put it in now, we'll just be chewing on sticks. But dude, I gotta tell you, this is fan freaking tastic mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Yeah. But I will tell you, I just made scrambled eggs the other day for the first time. I couldn't oh. find my pepper, and I put some thyme on it instead. Sure. Why not? It was so good. You know what you should like try next? What? Dill. Dill. Oh. Oh. I like it. I love dill. I like it. Okay. Put it in I'm your egg salad. It. I'm gonna try it. Put it in your egg oh, salad. It's the best. So thank you everybody for chiming in. I hope you have enjoyed these two guys because I enjoy spending time with them. Uh, but again, thank you Ashley for making sure they got here safely. Oh, my <laughs> pleasure. Thank you so much for having. Yeah, thank it you. It is my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for this coming on awesome. up. So we like to go and say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Happy Christmas, Merry everything. Celebrate all of the holidays. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's. Yes, yes, Whatever yes. you choose to celebrate, yep. celebrate and enjoy. Celebrate everything and celebrate it with joy. Yes. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.